Let me show you what the gifts are that we got on this cruise. This is the saddest day. I know, I hate leaving. So I really don't want to go. But the best part about this whole thing was being able to spend it with my family. He just made the most of it. Best guess. Oh best. my gosh, best cruise so ride ever. Best. There's Brennan. I miss you so much. Here's a quick recap of our cruise. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our cruise. This is what our cabin looks like the morning that we leave. This is definitely the saddest day of vacation. I do not look forward to this day. Um, I feel like though the cruise ships tend to try to make it as seamless as possible. So it's not like as to, as to lessen the pain of having to leave the cruise ship. But after seven glorious days with my family, this has been a, a crazy, crazy, crazy next level cruise. And I cannot wait to come back to Alaska. But anyway, it's early in the morning to you guys, which isn't really that early actually <laughs> it's like 6 30 in the morning and we're meeting for breakfast at seven so i've got to get all my bags packed i packed one last night and put it out because i brought two suitcases and mike brought a third so i packed one of them last night and put it out and then i have um this bag right here that i'm going to be packing with all the sort of it incidental or like everything that's left but on the ship, we got so, we were um, concierge class, we got so many gifts, like each and every day, the cruise line would give us gift after gift after gift. So I have a whole tote bag that they gave me um, that I've now filled with gifts. Let me show you what the gifts are that we got on this cruise. Okay, we got a bottle of champagne. We got two hats, because we went to Alaska. We got two of these little locally sourced Alaska things. So one of them is lip balm. One of them is like a salve, I think, for like bug bites or something. And one of them is lotion. So we got two of these little guys. One for me, one for Mike. Really, which means one for me, one for Katie. <laughs> then we got, this is also locally sourced Alaska tea and spice. This is some seafood rub. Absolutely delightful. You know I will 100% use that. I'll probably use it for steak and pork too. We also got these tumblers, which I haven't opened yet. So let me open it and show you what it looks like. Hold on one second. Okay, so this is it. Oh, wow. President's Cruise Alaska 2023 Celebrity Cruises with all the different um, Alaskan indigenous art. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be my favorite tumbler. That is fantastic. We got two of those. And then we got two bags that look like this. It's the Alaska Cruise, totally cool little tote bags. And then this, we were, okay, so I told you the other day that we had a surprise. Um, and this is what the surprise was. We were in, okay, so we're on the Celebrity Solstice. Um, it's called the President's Cruise to Alaska. When we booked this cruise, we had no idea it was the President's Cruise. We just booked a cruise to Alaska and it happened to be this week. Then all of a sudden, we started getting these emails that this is the President's Cruise, which I did not know what that meant because we had never done that before. But it means that the president of the company comes on the cruise ship with us. So not only did we have the president of the company, Laura, president of Celebrity Cruises. We also had Captain Kate, who's a very well-known female cruise ship captain. I think she was the first female cruise ship captain. She was delightful. So we got a chance to meet her. We got a chance to meet Laura. We had, there were several events. It was great entertainment. There were like a lot of special things that went on because it was the president's cruise. Anyway, one of the very special things that happened was Mike and I and my mom and dad got invited to have dinner with the president of Celebrity Cruises. What you say? What do you mean? Yeah, mom and dad didn't end up going because we're here with the rest of, like other family, my brothers and sisters, and they don't get a lot of time with them. So they wanted to stay back and have dinner with the rest of the family. But Mike and I took them up on the invitation and sat at a table of eight, eight people. So it was three couples that were that were passengers and then the president of a celebrity cruise and her husband. It was delightful. I have no idea how we got invited to that. I kind of think it's because we made friends with the cruise director early on for no other reason other than we thought she was delightful. <laughs> she is absolutely delightful because after the first show that we saw um, in the big theater, 
and I'll try to splice some stuff in here for you guys so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. After we saw the first show, we stayed back so we could say something to the cruise director because the show blew our minds. It was so wonderful. So she ended up, if you guys haven't seen the vlog, she ended up bringing us up on stage and we chatted and we had a great time. Anyway, so I think that's kind of maybe like after we became friends with, her name is Shauna. Shout out to Shauna. Woo -woo, you're amazing, Shauna. Um, Anyway, I think that's probably how we got invited to have dinner with the president, but it was absolutely amazing. So that being said, this is one of our little souvenirs that we are taking back with us. Is this picture? I'll turn it around so you guys can see. Do, 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 do. Here's a picture of us. So this is, wait, there's the president of Celebrity Cruises. That is her husband. This is me. This is Mike. Wait, no, that's her husband right there. And this is me and Mike. And his name is Sean, I believe. And then these are some other couples. And these are some corporate people. So it was truly amazing at this beautiful restaurant. One of the specialty restaurants called Luminae. We never go to specialty restaurants. We've done it a few times on a Disney ship, but never on Celebrity. And it was divine. Absolutely divine. So anyway, I'll tell you more about the cruise in just a minute. My voice is completely shot because you know when I get tired and when I talk and I dance and I sing too much, my voice gets shot. So I literally, like the first night it went and it never came back. We did silent disco, which you're not even supposed to make noise, but I did and no voice. Here's a quick recap of our cruise. Our first port of call was Ketchikan. We reunited with Captain Terry, went whale watching, saw some beautiful sights. The next day took us to the beautiful majesty of the Dawes Glacier. And the second half of the day to Juneau, Alaska, where we tried fresh salmon and saw also the Mendenhall Glacier. And then we went to the Pioneer Port of Skagway, Alaska, where we took the most beautiful train ride through the mountains. We also spent some days at sea and then stopped in Victoria, British Columbia. By the time we got to Victoria, it was our last day and we didn't even dock up until 5 p.m. We were honored to see the last production show, which was over the top amazing. And some of us were so exhausted that we didn't get off the ship, which kind of bums me out. I was the only one that really wanted to get off. I promise you, Victoria, BC, we will be back to see you again. But with all of the beautiful sights that we saw and the amazing, just different culture and animals and mountains and glaciers, that was really out of this world. But the best part about this whole thing was being able to spend it with my family, being able to get together with my brothers and sisters and my parents who I grew up with and spent every day with as a child and I don't get to see them as often anymore. It was so wonderful to experience this with them and we really just made the most of it. Um, I would do it again in a heartbeat. I would also bring my kids again next time we go. Um, just being together as a family and being able to travel the world is 100% the spice of life. I feel extremely blessed and I highly recommend any of you who ever have the opportunity to travel, whether it be far or near, just be with your family and experience those things with them. They will create memories that last a lifetime. Guests participating in the vocal program. Mike, it's your turn. You guys, Mike's leaving. We are in Seattle, you guys. We had a gorgeous sunny day when we first came here. And we have another gorgeous sunny day now that we're back in Seattle. All right, babe, let's skedaddle in Seattle. Love you. I love you. I'm going to go with you down the hall. Really? Yep. So much. Hi, Judy. Awesome. I'll be back. I still have some stuff in the room, but I'll come back and grab it. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, here goes Mike Sarho. You guys, we're on the 12th deck, deck 12. And we've decided that we think we want to be on deck 12 from now on. <laughs> it was delightful. All right, you guys, Mike jumped on the elevator and went. It was a very full elevator, so, because everybody had their luggage. So I did not go on. I'm going to go have lunch with my family. Mike and I are flying back separately because Mike has to go back to Maryland and I'm going back to Florida. So he's doing a direct flight right now, and I am flying, of course, Southwest. Um, he's doing Alaska, believe it or not, directly to um, Maryland. But anyway, I'm gonna fly Southwest today through Denver, so I have a big day ahead of me of travel. We've all met for breakfast here. Hi, Wendy, <laughs> here's Uncle Tom, Uncle Cass, Yana, 
Uncle Mike, Aunt Michelle, and Pat Pat. We all met for breakfast, and my family is already gone. Nana's looking at all of her photos from the cruise. And this is the saddest day. I know, I hate leaving. So I really don't want to go. It was so much fun. So we're just reminiscing by looking at some of our photos. Aunt Fid won the photo contest. She had the most beautiful photo. She had a little cocktail in her hand and looked, looked like she owned the world. So that's what we're doing now. We're just waiting to um, disembark the ship. And Jill. Yes, Chris. I'm with Sid. <laughs> the winner of the most beautiful photo yes. contest. My You're a lucky line. man, Chris. Line. You're a lucky man. Yep. 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 Excellent. Uh, your suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> so, suitcases. Right, right, right. Your entourage. Yeah. So much fun. Right. All right. All right. All right. We've called our number, so we're taking the elevator up to deck five. So we may disembark the ship again. Not happy about it at all. But uh, that's our cool um, atrium. Oh, Mike and Michelle. There they are. Alright, here's Nana and Pap. These are all that's left. Wendy and Tom have already gone. Mom and Dad, Chris. Here we go. Oh, Isabella, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys, the entertainment on this ship, as I've mentioned before, was absolutely ridiculous. Thank you so much. And here is Shauna, our cruise director. If you guys saw, there she is. If you guys saw our first video, if you haven't, go back and look. But she made this cruise spectacular. Shauna, Shauna, you, I can't even, you guys, I can't even tell you how much. <laughs> look at her. She's the best thing ever. You guys, there are cruise, whoops, there are cruise directors and then there are cruise directors and she is the number one, I'm telling you. And I don't know how we're gonna find you to go, like, to go on your ships. How are we gonna Keep find you? Keep track of me, I'm on C Shauna. Okay. Shauna like this. Yeah, so if you guys, if you, and if you follow us on Instagram, you will also, you can go through and see Shauna's too because we're following her Please on Instagram. Do. She's amazing, thank you so thank you, much. Oh my gosh. Best I, I, best. Oh my gosh, best cruise director so ever, fun. best person. Aww. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys, I finally boarded my plane. It is delayed two hours. So I'm hoping to be able to get my train in Denver. I'm going from Seattle to Denver and then down to Tampa, Tampa. And I was originally supposed to land in Tampa at 1.40, no, 1.15 in the morning. Now I'm going to land at 3.15 in the morning and Brendan's going to pick me up. So hopefully that doesn't change too much. Hopefully I make my connection in Denver and can actually get home uh, to the Tampa airport. So. So Mike already made it to Baltimore, which is really good. I'm so <laughs> looking forward to getting home and seeing the cats and the kids. Although I'm very sad that my vacation is tomorrow. It's 3.16 in the morning and we've just landed. Oh my gosh, you guys, are actually people going through security right now? Are they for tomorrow's flights? I think they are. I think they're here for like a 5 a.m. flight. Oh my gosh. We are just getting in, that's crazy. Hey, there's Brennan. I miss you so much. Brennan, you look so much like your father when I approach the car. I'm like, oh my God, he looks just like dad. Oh. I didn't get my bags yet, but I just have these. It's been way too long. Hey, you guys, I put the Alaska playlist here. Take a look at all of our Alaska videos. It was a trip to remember. We hope you enjoy it.